Mystery Science Theater 3000, show 411, real one. In the not too distant future, next Sunday AD, there was a guy named Joel, not too different from you or me. He worked at Gizmonic Institute, just another face in a red jumpsuit. He did a good job cleaning up the place, but his boss didn't like him, so they shot him in the space. Isn't it okay? Where are you from? Oh, uh, mm -hmm. well, right here at the uh -huh. satellite. And what do you do for a living? Well, you program me to uh -huh. do some of the higher functions mm -hmm. of the, mm -hmm. the ship. Mm -hmm. And who does your hair, Gypsy? I think that's great. Mm -hmm. Bite okay. me. Okay. Uh -huh. You live around here much? I'm kidding. Of course, I'll get back to this. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Satellite of Love. A lot of you are probably asking yourselves right now, what kind of a weird tripped out scene is Joel into this week? Well, it's it. Oh, 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 sorry. Uh, get this. This week, Joel fancies himself a caricaturist. Right now, he's doing gypsy. For those of you who don't know, a caricaturist is an artist who makes anyone he draws look like Jack Sue. Oh, oh sorry. Oh, sorry. Like it. The only problem is gypsy's nude. Hey, you guys are nude too, you know. What? Hey, he's right. Oh my god! Whoa! What do you think? Well. <laughs> well, at least I can draw you, Cambot, in the way I've always wanted to, without a stitch on. <laughs> Well, what do you think? Hmm. It's really not that good. Uh, I look like Garrick Utley with a cream pitcher wedged in his skull. Well, well yours is pretty good, isn't it, Tom? <laughs> yeah, right. Wouldn't pick up my worst enemy's dog droppings with this piece of crap. Oh, oh but I'm sure you'll get better. Uh-oh, uh, uh, Dum Dum and Stinky Pants are calling there. <laughs> Dum Dum and Stinky Pants? Where do they come up with this stuff? <laughs> oh, I love that little red guy. Oh, look at me. I'm a little red robot, and I can't move my arms. <laughs> Frank, <laughs> why don't you ask them to do their invention exchange, okay? Look, I love to laugh, and we're having fun, but please, can we get to the invention exchange? <laughs> Stinky pants. <laughs> well, sirs, our invention exchange this week is based on those beer can caddy hats that shirtless, obnoxious guys wear baseball games. Yeah, only ours are built for whisper-thin, musky, bohemian types. Yeah, they're called the Big Gulp Berets. Uh, as you can see, they've got caddies on the side to hold your favorite ice-cold Evian or Volvic or any other criminally priced spring water. Now when you go see the Bloody Unicorn Puppet Theater's production of Marat Saad, you can still have your hands free to scribble poetry or dab on patchouli oil. And at the dank uptown cast party afterwards, when the check comes, it frees up your hands to discover... Ah... Uh, <laughs> I must have left my money in my other pants. Could you spot me tonight? What do you think, sirs? Very amusing, Joel, but I don't cotton to those long-haired artsy types. Now, uh, you little scamps, beg me to do the invention exchange. <laughs> okay, sirs, please do the invention exchange. No. Well, okay. As a scientist, I'm constantly working with materials that threaten life on a global scale, and sometimes they spill. <laughs> Enter these polysorbent biohazard cleanup pillows, once used only for industry. Well, we have brought them into the home with our new designer biohazard throw pillows. 
Now, Frank has prepared a little one-act play to explain their efficacy. Well, enough Charles in charge. I'd better get to work on that hardy new strain of dysentery I've been mutating. Oh, no! Not again! Well, Dr. Forrester's decorator biohazard cleanup pillows, I'm saved! Dr. Clayton Forrester, I love you! Well, Jimmy Smits, your movie today is roasted fresh from the kitchens of Bert I. Gordon. It's a fetid little piece of tripe featuring sword and sorcery and Gary Lockwood and an embarrassed Basil Rathbone. It's called The Magic Sword. Doctor, I think I sucked up some of that hazardous stuff. Oh, don't be a baby. I've taken gallons of that stuff and it's only made me stronger and taller. But I don't feel good. Oh, what are you gonna do now? Cry, huh? You gonna cry, baby, huh? You gonna cry? One, two, three, cry. Say, Bird Eye Gordon's gone color. Can slice a tomato so thin you can see through it. Oh, we better. Hey. Ah, I'll have basil rathbone with pesto, please. <laughs> <laughs> it's a. Uh, <clears throat> Give her a higher love. Mm. Even then, she was really old. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know I love Dean Martin in those old Anne Helm movies, Leap don't you? Helm. Oh, Leap oh, it's Matt Matt Helm. Oh, Merit Stone, that's my birthstone. Oh. Oh. Callahan, it was Callahan, Marion Callahan, yes, she was the one. <laughs> Nick, Paul, and John Von Tempe. Is a woman who hangs out with hags a hag hag? No. <laughs> Makes you think, doesn't it? Uh oh, we're in big trouble, guys. Mm -hmm. Story about... We are in really big trouble. Yep, yep. <laughs> Music made under strict rabbinical supervision. Dragon trainer? They're kidding us, right? <laughs> this isn't a movie, it's a employment program. Isn't that what they call you, girl? What do they call you? They're up in wardrobe. They call me Esther Krebs. <laughs> oh, we are in deep, mm -hmm. deep trouble, guys. Mm -hmm. And yes, you can be too thin. <laughs> Say. Hey, no. oh, ah! Well, we left home hours ago. Oh, that's so creative. She has a little cafe down what there. What good is my sorcery if I can't help my own boy? Hmm? Answer me, someone. Uh, Roddy uh, McDowell, uh, no! He's not fooling me. I know where he is. He's at the magic pool again. A double, double pleasure, pleasure is waiting for you. He is in love. Do you think I don't know it? I've tried to cure him of it. Am I losing my skill as a sorceress? Among other things. Mm. No. No, Sybil. Well, oh, that's called the Kettle Black. I've got my witchcraft to cure snake bites, chillblains, carbuncles, pink eye, hangnails. Hello, Marta. And happy memories. Yes. Mm. Yes, Sybil. Mm. And why can't I rid the boy of this, this fever? George, George is a man. She hired two brown noses to hang around. Human, yes. But hardly a man. He's a mere boy of 20. In love. You guys really bug me. George. Already a man. In love. He ought to be at home learning a good trade. Like computer science, refrigeration, gun repair. Now, was that BJ or the bear? I don't know. <laughs> 
Full of magic. What? Obey my wish. Bring her vision into my sight. That's right. That's right. Find Answer it. unclear. Ask again later. She's at the palace. Dun, 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 dun. It's, it's the, the undersea, undersea kingdom, kingdom for you and, and for me. me. Perhaps the throne. Calgon, take me away. It's King Grady. Huh? No, oh, not another huh? Jane Fonda video. Emma Jean Coca, no! Emma Jean Coca, yes. Oh. <laughs> Talk about your show of shows. Whoop. I hate it when the hardy stripograms for my birthday. No. No, try the try the sunken garden in the palace by the Oriental Pool. Have breakfast with me. Oh, somebody That's flushed. Right. That's right, there she is. Oh, yeah. oh, I get it. He's got cable. There she is. It's Fanny Fox. Oh, it's a Maxfield Parish painting. You're both right. It's Fanny Fox in a Maxfield Parish painting. Both hey. jokes can work together. Let's watch on. Okay. Hey mom, hey mom, watch me, mom, watch me, watch this. Gidget goes to the Renaissance Festival. I hope the cold water. That's precise so editing, huh? No, I'm just as furious as ever. I, I am furious, you. yellow. Oh, it's easy enough for you to talk. You can do whatever you please. Fall in love, fall out of it again. Squire one day, a stable boy the next. I get the point, but all right. I might as well Jeez. be a prisoner in a tower. I can't even speak to a man, let alone have him look at me the penalty of being a princess. But even a princess should be allowed romance. Even cowgirls get the blues. How will I ever meet him? Who, my lady? The one I could love. I think that's her natural color. Someday. She's been hitting the dye pot. We yeah. along. But you're gone. I'll dress myself. Well, then what will you do? Oh, what I always do, sit here and dream. Sit there and drink? Dream. Oh. Princess Helene. Your lights are on. Who are you? Just came to freak you out, baby. What do you want? This doesn't do anything for you? Come on, I'm a ghost. Stay away. Marsha Wallace. Whoa. Don't you come any closer. No, princess. I'm going to take care of you. She's stuck. Bang her on the side of the head there. 2,000 flushes. Gary Lockwood. It is. Check this out. Open the pod bay doors, Hal. <laughs> Good one. Because <laughs> it's. <laughs> mommy, mommy, mommy. It has a scary Hello? flashing thing in it. So, where are you? You needn't shout, George. And Dora. I must leave here. She's in danger. Who in the netherworld are you talking about? Princess Helene. I loved her from the first moment I saw her. <laughs> A reflection in the water, and you call it love, you silly <laughs> child. Last week it was a deck of cards. Let me see what you're talking about. Mm. Magic mirror, show me what has upset my boy. Adolescence, puberty, raging hormones. The princess is gone, your majesty. She's not in her quarters, not in the garden, not by the pool. Yet no one saw her leave the palace. Well, oh, she, she works she late on Tuesdays, you know. Garden, Francis. We have done that, my liege. Until she is found. No one will be permitted in or out of the palace. Well, he's wearing fighting a lion. Can't you just walk into the room without a big to-do? To-do. He played Sherlock Holmes, that one. Who is this? We found him skulking within the eastern posture, Marlies. I wasn't skulking. I was hanging there are around. Means to make him speak. Oh, no, not a solo. <laughs> Your most serene majesty, you can call off the search. The princess, your daughter, is in my castle, under lock and key. Well, as long as she's safe. Hey! Rodak! The sorcerer? No, the pre-emergent tank mix. Reputation. Of course it's a sorcerer! Rodak, you say my daughter is at your castle. Mm -hmm. But why? How have I hurt you? Why have you done this thing? The answer is very simple. Your father executed my sister for witchcraft when she was only 18 years old. Painful. I have waited until your daughter reached that age so that my dragon could relish the flesh 
of the princess. Oh, wow. Uh, I beseech you. Beseech nothing. I beseech this. You have this worm-eaten sorcerer frighten us. Be careful, Branson. Not I. Lodak. You're a jerk. I shall find your castle. Free the princess and see you destroyed. Oh, while well, balancing an egg on a spoon. Finding my castle is no great task. Hey, MC Light the wants her necklace back. We simply follow the yellow star of the north. The mm. trick mm. is... How to get there? Alive. Mm. I shall. I'm afraid not. Uh, I that we have left off, Hunter. He's got a reverb pedal. Mm -hmm. Who dares to dock your name? Let no man face my seven curses. Reach the dragon's lair. You ain't woman enough to take my man. Your curses won't stop me from reaching them for all seasons here. Mm. The princess Elaine will make a delicate dish for my dragon. I'm serving her over rice with Fabi. seven days time. And now, if you'll excuse me. Uh, wait, was that seven days starting now, or is it seven days? St uh, take uh, me uh, on uh, your uh, horse. Never more! Never more! Oh, suppose that could have gone better. Mr. Branton, my daughter will die. No, sire. Well, I will rescue her. You will risk the seven curses? <laughs> I or love Helene, that Carlin I'll risk bit. 70. The man who saves Helene will have her hand Ooh, in marriage and half my kingdom. She looks like Ronald McDonald. Trust me, sir. No one's supposed to know. No, no, it is I who must say the princess. Not Sir Branton. <laughs> you think I'd let you face Lodak sorcery? You don't not have your learner's permit. 300 years ago, my father and brother were devoured by Lodak's dragon. Oh, not this and story my again. My were great sorcerers in their own right. I remember it like it was 200 years ago. I am no match for Lodak. I confess it. Okay, I fear okay. him almost as much as I hate him. Please, I just you stipulate will you. Stay right here at home where you are safe. You're grounded. Have anything you want. But oh. you're staying here. All I want is my freedom so I can save the girl I love. All I want is what's coming to me. But you wouldn't understand that not being mortal. Oh, that hurt. I tried to do my best. Oh, I know you have, Sybil. Can't you call me mother? Oh, is it mother today? Sorry, mother. You were only a week old when your royal parents died from the plague. Yes, well, happy I times. found you, reared you as my own son. Must have the answers written on his hand. You're huh? kind and loving, and, and I'd do anything for you. Flaking. But I can't stay here with you anymore. It's weird. I'm not a child. I'm 20, and I love Helene. Talk to me of love when you're 420. When your human 20 is old enough to feel love and misery. Now give me my freedom. Okay, but it's not I wrapped. Must say you're being very difficult tonight. Oh well, boys will be boys. In the hood. Uh, we'll we'll have to cheer you up. What's mother now? <laughs> I'm gonna have a big bowl of quisp. Mm. Ooh, get that lady a saucer of milk. Really? That's that trick again. Again. <laughs> Does he have a cotton panel in those briefs? Oh. George. Don't you know me? I've seen you like this before. Look, if you'll cheer up, forget about that girl and blow deck. I'll let you see the presents I've chosen for you when you're 21. A new card piece? Mm. What sort of presents, Mother? Come along. It's Alexander's ragtime band. I'll show you. Packed with peanuts, it still really satisfies. Oh, yes. <laughs> Why do you seek the living among the dead? Carol Merrill, what's behind that curtain? Like a lino. It's a new horse! <sighs> you like him? Jeez, any kid would he swell. He's magnificent. He's yours when you're 21. His name is Bayard. He's no ordinary animal. He's your but father. This is magic. This is the fastest horse in all the world. Hi, no other Mr. Edgar Winner. 
And it can all be yours if the price is right. Take the door. No, no, Call for the curtain. The curtain. No, no, take the, the curtain. curtain. curtain, curtain. Uh oh. <laughs> A candy striper's outfit. Wow. Thanks, Mom. See this? You'll wear it when you ride the Used stand. to be your sisters. Does this armor possess magic, too? No weapon can pierce it. Except a butter knife. And this is Ascalon, the blade. None like it since the world began. It defies all swords in it's battle. It's against 2000. Black magic is overcome by a touch of the blade. So there, all yours when you are 21. If the price is and right. I'll let you go after Lodak for my revenge as well as your own. With the help of their magic, I could save the princess now. No, you're not old enough. You wouldn't know how to use them. No, oh, don't touch it. Me, don't even look at it. Just to get the feel of it, please. Well, just for a while. <laughs> Very well. Hmm. Feels like a part of my own body. So it's like your arm? Feels stronger. Oh, More confident. Oh. Dry, secure. Now come along. It pleases me to show you something else tonight. Boss, it's a Hank Aaron model. Who are they? One the village people. The six mm. most valiant knights in the world. That's him, officer, third from the left. It's real black magic, mother. I wish I could take the credit. Magic. I've never been as good as that. No, it was my brother. Did Jeez, I get Mom, all the stuff is in my room and I never noticed it before. It's just great. Now I can be the prep cook I always wanted to be. Oh, now I've done it. Sorry, Mom. Did the sword do that? Sure Perfect. did, Jethro. One touch of the blade, and it opens and shuts floors, doors, walls, and portcullises. And it snaffles caps off jugs, bottles, Shut and jars. Too, you say? Not for hell. Hmm. What's down there? China. I haven't been down there in centuries. Used to be my brother's safe deposit box for spells, enchantments, magic ritual and the like. Want to Old see? magazines in my high school yearbook. Is there any other way out if the crack were closed again? Well, there's the kitchen then door. How hard you work at it. A cousin of mine took 80 years to oh, wound up a spell that blew the roof off, but... Don't He's got more stories about her relatives than Gabe Kaplan. I'm not afraid. Uh, you go first, Mother. Mm -hmm. Age before beauty, I guess. Whoa, I didn't ah. want to see that. One singular sensation. Thank you. Yes. Hey. Psych. <laughs> oh. My toe. Goodbye, Mother. George, son, let me out this instant. You can't leave me here. I told you about my cousin. I'll come back and let you out after I've rescued the Princess Helene. Well, but I'll be hungry done. by then. With a magic armor, magic sword, magic steel. And my refrigeration what certificate from Pine now? City Votech. Mm. You don't know that, George. George, let me out. <laughs> Taffeta. Hey, Basil Rathbone, that gives me an idea. Remember those doggy costumes oh, yeah. we had? Oh, yeah. Wow. You know, you get out of your dog what you put into it. Tap trainer, Joel Robinson. And I only put in the best. Basil Rathbones. Okay, Crow. Okay. Okay, boy. Wait for it. Wait for it. Good. <laughs> you know, a top trained dog like this one is a lot like any of us people. You know, we all need affection, occasional grooming, and lots and lots of snacks. And dogs just go nuts for the rich taste of Basil Rathbone. One Rathbone a day will clean doggy's teeth and freshen doggy breath. And they're packed with bits of Nigel Bruce. Mm -hmm. Hey, these are too good to be good for you. Okay, Tom Servo, you sit, sit, oh, good doggy. <laughs> Basil Rathbone. And pesto-flavored Basil Rathbones for the pretentious dog. Now, <laughs> ingress and stick flavor. It's alimentary, my dear Robinson, to love Basil Rathbone. Oh, have my doggies been good at the second leg of them? Oh, they are such good doggies. Oh, they are little good doggies. What to go out and...
and bring your tennis oh. balls, Your Majesty. Woof. Confirm Your Majesty, all. these knights and I have come to serve you in your hour of need. That's very kind. But we're not Sir, hiring right now. I am Sir George, a knight by virtue of 400 years of noble lineage. And a degree but, from but, Cardinal Strict College. These are my comrades in arms. Sir Her Dennis of France. Neat. Votre Majesté, c'est un honneur. He's going to have really bad hat here. Oh, yeah. So Erwick of Germany. Mein Kaiser, we come to serve. The voice of Paul Sir Freeze. Anthony of Italy. Yo, Tony. Harry Shear. Sir Pedro He's got of Spain. an observatory on his head. Your Majesty. Sir James of Scotland. Our hearts grieve for you and your sorrow, Your Majesty. Hmm? And last, Terry, the sensitive Sir knight. Of Ireland. We pledge our lives to your service and to the Princess Helene until she's safe. What? Gentlemen. Is he the knight from the Bronx? Speaking for the king, we are grateful for your offer. I am sure that you can be of immeasurable service to His Majesty while I'm away. Well, keep your resumes on file. Oh, you know who I am. Have we met? No, That's I an old line. You. In the field? Not in the field. And I also know you wish to marry the Princess Helene. Oh, quite true. You're all welcome to stay and dance at my wedding. Yeah, me and what army? Many thanks. Oops. Oh. But I prefer to dance at my own. Oh, well, we're getting into a weird area here. Don't try to solve them till we've rescued the Princess Helene. We. What do you mean, I we, King of Sabi? Monsieur, try to understand. We are all sworn to save Sir George, beautiful lady. I Sir think George. what our bright young French friend is trying to say is... What does the Frenchman mean? Only that I love her and I intend to marry her. Oh, okay. What the... Hey! Uh, do you know the perils of the dark journey? We do, Sir Brandon. If you don't share our enthusiasm, we shall be happy to go on without you. Okay. <laughs> your Majesty, have I your permission to give this stripling a lesson in the use of arms? Permission to cut him in half, sir. I shall not draw. I shall paint. Except in behalf of Princess Helene. Oh, coward. Draw. <laughs> Jerk, you broke my sword. Enough. That's enough. Sir Branton, I like these knights. Surely you violated eight numbers, law. You and seven good swords. Seven swords? For seven brothers. And seven curses. For seven brothers. When do we start, Sir Brandon? Now. Marcus, let go. Haikiba. Ah. And a double Haikiba. His raised him one. Knights in white satin. Never reach it. Come on, you ragtag bunch of misfits. Whew, glad I don't have to mow that lawn. Mm -hmm. It's like a golf course. Hmm? Tonight on Mom Court. Yeah, if you're really bad, they throw you in the imaginary box. Petticoat dungeon. I'm Helene. We know. We heard you were brought in this morning. I'm Princess Laura, and this is my sister Grace. This is our seventh day. Let's form seventh a girl group. Day. Our last day, unless... Oh. Surely you don't believe that about the dragon. There were others here when we arrived, but you're gone now. Georgette, everybody. Well, then your father will do something to save you. Well, his army is probably approaching the castle this very minute. Mm -hmm. you don't really kid think yourself, so? sister. We've been here for seven years. Of course. You'll be on your way home by morning. Oh, that's my dad. Sisters. There were never such devoted sisters. Eraser head. <laughs> Literally. Are <laughs> we to go home now, Father? Arrange for our relief. You're not going home. You're going Surely to Disneyland. I've spoken to him. I've had three long, dull sessions with him, but nothing could persuade him to give up what I asked for. I don't believe you. He'd pay you anything. Nothing. Instead, he sent an entire company of his bravest knights on the dark journey. The poor lads never even reached the third curse. Take them away. They bore me. Can I take their Snoopy poster down now? Shit. That just can't be happening. There just couldn't be anybody as cruel and evil as you. No, I won't hear it. Oh, there's a man in Eastbourne. It's the first time that a princess has been fed to a dragon. And at least around here it happens only once a week. Unless you get what you want. What ransom are you asking for me? 
I'm sorry, but you happen to be a particular case. I'm not asking any ransom for you at all. Then why did you bring me here? My little pet will be hungry again in six days' time. Yeah, uh, five days' Watch. time. No, no, please, no, please. Is she soup yet? Mm -hmm. Dead. The wind carries well. Don't turn your head away. You'll miss all the fun. <sighs> See? Ah, he does like cues. Happens very quickly. Now my little pet can sleep. Oh, it's horrible. Oh, bite me. It's fun. But it won't happen to me. Their father sent a company. Who well, mine will send an army. My Wesley will come for me. Delusion, you. Uh, actually, for a while. Our father seemed content to let just one knight undertake your rescue. Oh, don't blame your father. The knight talked him into it. And who is this very brave man? I'm sure you know him. Murray? Sir Frampton. Sir Frampton? Frampton. Oh, he's a freshman. Don't like Sir Frampton. Oh, come now. A damsel in distress can't afford to pick and choose. Anyway, don't worry. Neither he nor his companions will ever get here. Companions? I thought you said Sir Brandon was alone. He would have been. But some uh, foolhardy young man named George insisted on coming with them. Hmm. George? Of course, you don't know him. You don't know him. He's new. Where is he? Uh, would you care to see him? Feel him? See? Touch him? Oh. Certainly. I'll show you the young fool. It's pay-per-view. We can only watch for two minutes before they charge us. Which one is George? The youngest. He's in the lead, riding with Sir Brandon. Boy, that place could use some yard work. Looks like Cypress Gardens, Florida. Those who are wise will turn back now. Okay. All right. Bye. Bye. See ya. See ya. Thanks. Go on now. Go on. All right. <laughs> the ratty carousel horses like Mary Poppins. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, look, that guy hit a bug. Oh. Well, we're back. Nothing there. It's a KOA. You guys cower over here. I'll go. Let me see this thing. Hmm. Huh? Huh? Teddy Ruxpin, no! no. <laughs> kind of looks like Gino Vanelli. Sanctuary! Sanctuary! Sanctuary much! <laughs> Think that hurts? Look at his perm! It's Ron Perlman. Oh. Ah, shoot! This is real fur! You know how hard it is to get blood out? <laughs> it's a salted nut log. Captain's log. <laughs> Well, that's his only move, essentially. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. All right, anyone know what that is? He's yours, and tell him to stop throwing stuff at us. We talked about it, and we'd really appreciate it if you'd stop throwing things. Yeah, it's over by the 7-Eleven. You take a left, okay, by the freeway. <laughs> it's a troll in the hay. <laughs> it's a... Literally. Yeah. He looks like Barry Gibb, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. Have some pumpernickel bread with me, friend. Here. Stop! That's no way to kill roaches. Well, now he's throwing beefsteak rye. Sure is hearty. Uh, I gotta learn to lead that little guy. Uh... Round, round, get, get around, around, get around. around. Yeah. Goofy, isn't it? That horse is swift. It's the pilot, so it's an hour long. What? No, 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 no. Just a stupid thought that crossed my mind. I thought maybe you and I... So the horse is oh, swift. My ogre will kill them both. His odor? Are you quite sure? 
Needs ogre eaters. <laughs> mm, that. Spicy. That. I am not an animal. <laughs> Look out, he's gonna launch! Gonna got come with Twitty here, mm -hmm. doesn't he? <laughs> Watch this. Kind of pathetic. Ganesh! Yeah. Ganesh? You got me. Oh. Chest hair club for men. Yeah, I'm Whee! gonna make him into a fort! Whee! He won. He beat you at your own game. So he did. Now where's my ten bucks? Save it. I know he will. Not a chance. No one has ever survived the seven curses of Lodak. That was only the first. Now it's six curses. Shut up, shut up. He may be evil, but he should spam, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. They buried him? And still not a sign of our gallant commander, Sir Branton. You make me sick, you stupid pig. Not to pay respects when poor Ulrich can pay for a laid to rest. Not as the man a coward. Not to have lifted his sword against that monster. Brad is no coward, I'm They're sure of that. praying over the monster's butt. I will butt. talk of the mm. devil himself. We missed you at the burial, Sir Branton. Don't say I hi. I regret, gentlemen, are as deep as your own. But since every minute counts, I thought it wiser for me to ride ahead and reconnoiter. What did you find? Mount your horses, gentlemen. We're not that lonely. And come see for yourselves. Yeah, let's get out of here. The mists of Avalon. <laughs> Avalon. <laughs> this is a hair follicle magnified over a million times. You know, I was just thinking this is really pretty good for a bird eye. What? Uh, oh, yeah, for bird eye, Gordon. Well. I get misty. Smoke gets in your eyes. <laughs> Smoke on Oh, for crying out loud. <laughs> on top of old smoke. Okay. Hollywood Hot Tubs 2. It really makes you think, don't it? Nope. Hmm? Well, this is what I mean. I was trying to think of something to say. I mean, we're supposed to be in a quest. We're supposed to be best friends. We haven't even talked yet. We've talked. No, no, I mean really talked. All I know about you is that you're French. I mean, France is a big country, you know? Well, not really. Well, are we in the Renaissance? No, no, we're in the early Middle Ages. Well, how do you know? Well, take the distinction between the slave and the freeman. What about it? Well, it's weakening. Ah. Oh. Well, no, even if we were in the Renaissance, how would we know we were in the Renaissance? Well, you look at that, wow. George. The virtual bloodbath. Literally. <laughs> well, this may be a quest, but it's also kind of fun, isn't it? Seems to be an unsavory region, Sir Branson. So fair and you foul a day I have not seen. The right road. Or is it a road we're on at all? Frog's getting thicker. Where's Dennis? At Mr. Wilson's? Where's James and Anthony? James! Dennis! What? Anthony! Uh, I say it's a bit foggy! Well then keep with us! Keep close! And keep reaching for the stars. Where's Anthony? Anthony! It's Prince Spaghetti Day! Anthony! Anthony! Nothing, I'm just playing over here! This is a hair follicle after being blow dried. Anthony! Look, Anthony's gone, okay? <laughs> Anthony! Zerby! I'm over here! Which way are you? Here! I'm over here in the hydrangea bush! Strider! Bore him here! It's Dean Jones in the Love Night! Ha <laughs> ha! Anthony, where are you? Now I am over here drowning! Where are you? I'm here! Uh, here. I need specifics! Anthony. Exactly what does here mean? You just ate. Get out of there. Quit clowning. My beard's coming off. 
How you two doing over here? Everything okay? I'll carry on. Hmm. I idea this torso is gone. He's been eating by piranha. <laughs> <laughs> Have a nice trip. See you next fall. <laughs> well, I don't go for that kind of stuff. Hey. Huh? Damn, poor bastard never knew what he did. Uh, huzzah, everybody. I am noble and happy King Joel, and we're about to present our whimsical and charming pageant based on life in the Middle Ages, Crow. That's Sir Crow. Right, uh, Sir Crow of Robot. Ah, uh, yes, Sir Crow of Robot, defender of the realm, guardian of the flame, purveyor of fine toiletries to Her Majesty's courts in 1753. A noble, wandering, virtuous knight. Yep, in days of old, when knights were bold, and that, toilets that's needed... Good. That's really good, But Crow. I'm not finished. Oh, I and... think you are. Ah, but soft. Behold the fair maiden. Aye, but she's a toothsome wench. Speak the gypsy. What love could press thee from mine side? Be speak, fair gypsy. Oh. What love could press thee from mine side? Uh, oh, my only love sprung from my uh, only hate. Only hate to early seen, unknown, and known too late. Prodigious birth of love. Uh, it is, it to, is me. to me that I must love mine enemy. Bummer. Well, the great thing about Gypsy's hat here is this comes out and she can double as a unicorn like that. It's kind of neat. Anyway, okay, places everybody. It's time for my big coronation. Oh, where's Tom? Good, my lord. At your feet, sire. Uh, Tom, you better get your costume on. We're ready for the big pageant. Uh, this, this is my costume. Oh, you have got to be kidding me, Servo. No, really, I'm a serf. A what? You know, an agrarian serf, indentured servant, sort of a low-level, non-camera prole. Oh, like a poor person? Well, you know, poverty was a relative state to me and my kind in the Middle Ages, Gypsy. You uh -huh. see, having no chance to acquire property except through indentured servitude yes. and due to the plague, the overburdened farmland of the German uh -huh. countryside uh -huh. before the Habsburg, and, uh, you know, hey, like uh, uh, Listen, Tom, you're taking uh, this way too seriously, okay? What? Listen, Crow is just a knight. Uh -huh. Gypsy is just a lady-in-waiting who doubles you as a what? unicorn. And I am a noble, good-hearted, and happy king. Okay. <laughs> sure, Mad Ludwig, I could count the good-hearted kings of even the high Middle Ages on my inarticulate little finger. You know how many despotic, trumped-up monarchs there were born into madness due to massive inbreeding to the point that schizophrenia was a sign of nobility? But, but, but what about ladies in waiting? Now you're going to have to wait a long time, girl. Courtly love was a veritable spawning ground for social diseases. You're better off as a unicorn, and they don't even exist. Oh, <laughs> is the great Surfo going to give us a morality lesson? Yeah, stick around, Sir Cheddar Clowns, yeah, a lot. Yeah, you may learn something. Frickers. Besides, you I know, most friend. knights were illiterate, belching, maniacal, land of gentry Blah. who vainly attempted to assert their masculinity by going on errant raids of undefended villages and by impaling each other in brutal tournaments. You want to kill him or should I? Give him the bad bodkin, my buddy. Oh, oh, oh. Avance! And quit my sight, stickweed! Oh, no, no, no. oh. Hey, King Joel surfs up! <laughs> Ooh, right, these. These. <laughs> what the movies oh, oh, we got oh, this oh, I was just trying to make a point. You didn't have to impale me. Sorry. Oh, it's the rinse cycle. Hey, hey deep fried his sword. It's got a crispy coating. A crunchy crispy coating. Tender on the inside. Down for the third time. Oh, it really cleared up his skin. Yeah. Hey, want to listen to some dead? <laughs> Deep heating. Must get to crappy special effect. Oop. I'm tired of the whole sordid affair. Sordid? <laughs> yeah, kind of a spin. Going up, Sir George? Uh, I'm okay, I'm okay. Where's Anthony? Where's George? Where's Waldo? Where's think. Papa? They are lost for good. Not both. Look. 
I found a horse. Can I keep him? Anthony has joined Pedro and Elric. Forward, gentlemen. Try to stay on the path. We are well into the third game of the tournament. Ah, I see Snaggles the Chimp has opted for the French defense. And Telly Savalas and Telly Savalas are pondering the move. Ah, the Persian, of course. Mom's home. Do? Tonight on Tales from Lucy's Crypt. Ah, Ricky, welcome to the crypt. I've been lurking for you. Mm, what did I do last night? Glad she's back. Tonight on a very special My Weird Body. Yeah, Henry Moore sculpture. <laughs> we'll be back to My Wacky Witch. Oh, dear. Oh. 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 Come bring mommy a beer. Come on. Mommy needs your medicine. Ah, the strange loves of Martha Ivory. <laughs> <laughs> well, a delicious shake for breakfast, another for lunch, and a strange elixir for dinner. Ah, dry ice does it every time. My, what a job getting out there. What a drag it is getting old. Wait till I get my hands on him. George? After all I've done for that boy. To trick me, put me in his power, me, his own foster mother. Dual overhead Sinead O'Connors. Jeez, I hired these guys. Life is in danger. You're tired. Jinx. Tired. Jinx. Rest. Jinx. Rest. Jinx. Jinx. I'll never rest again until I know he's safe. Oh, my boy, what have you done? Mirror of magic, bring me a vision of my boy. Why Everybody's got one of those. I thought they were special. Back, Sir you and I have a good reason to continue the dark journey. Both of us in love with the same girl. Each of us hopes to oh, rescue. Oh, curses, Alberta! So what Gordon reason are the others Phil. to face Lodak's curses? As your commander, I honestly advise you to turn back now while there is still time. Uh, you're, you're in the fire. Yeah, here, George. We should turn heel and ride back to safety, leaving you and Sir Branton. Well said. Take a breath. That makes good sense. Are your wits addled? Lodak's curses have already claimed Ulrich, Pedro, and Anthony. Hmm. As long as there's one of us left alive, there's hope that the princess can be saved. You know, he almost got and that Irish accent. accent. Couldn't Close. blame you for leaving. Between the curses of Lodak and Brandon's treachery, you'll yeah. be needing us. You Irish dog, what do you mean by such insolence? Dog am I, you two-faced hypocrite! Stop and the back. bench is clear! I demand an explanation. And you shall have one. You're out of order! I night to believe you prefer to continue the journey alone, so you can get rid of me. What nonsense. You can't deny that from the first you refused our help. You got me. Well, of course I didn't want you coming along. After all, what man wants to join forces with his rival? But once we had begun the dark journey, I accepted you completely. I love you unconditionally. I even admire you. Yet you would have us leave, Sir George. What suspicious minds. We can't Only go on of the together. Lodak's curses are killing us off one by one, curse by curse. Be that as it may, I stay with George. Bailey. And we'd still be statues staring at that blasted wall if George Hanna turned us into men. Great Daryl speaks what up. what good is it to be in a man again if you can't help win the fair Colleen? Colleen. Thank you, Pat. But I'll take it from here. All of you. There's your answer. But what was the question? I have to admire your courage. No, not your smock. Good night, gentlemen. I gotta go lift. His tongue is like the honey from a clover patch. I don't believe a word the man says. <laughs> His game proves to be treachery. It will be Sir Bren who does not return from this journey. This I swear. The mighty birch, king of all trees, ask for it by name. Best not to do your treachery at noon. Mm. Oh, I dreamed I saw a buffalo show. <laughs> hey, where are you taking me? I don't want to go. I object. Get off me. Uh, somebody opened the garage door. Ah, jeez, what time is it? I gotta go hit my shift at the Happy Chef. 
At the Copa Copa Co Oh, here it is. Hey, it's Willa Cather's birthplace. Hmm. What do you know? Where'd that door go? Oh, there it is. Come out, come out wherever you are. Uh, Brandon? Are, are you are decent? You? Right here. Well, I see you're in a good mood. Rear. On the contrary. I'm in a savage mood. <laughs> I can't stand in confidence. You better come here alone on this phony rescue. Funky rescue. Instead, I must waste my curses to destroy George and his knights. Talk about incompetence. In three days, you've only managed to destroy three of these interfering fools with all your magic powers. Well, Not day. all my magic powers, Branton. Uh, most of them. Give me my ring. And I'll dispose of these men in quick order. Not till I get my bicycle back. What use is the ring to you? No mortal can command its magic. You'll get your ring back when I get the princess. That was our bargain. Don't you trust me? Did you trust Not me? You're insolent. Well, I no one in my organization has ever talked to me that way. A rat or a cat. And take the ring. Go ahead. Give Make me my me. ring. No. 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 You're gonna cry, cry, baby, Go back, cry. You can't Who's hurt gonna me cry? While I wear your ring, but once you have it back, what's to save me from your curses? You're wonderful. Well, I've prepared a small demonstration. Why would I want to hurt you? Because you're a jerk. Why wouldn't you? You're only helping me now because you want to get back this ring, which you so stupidly. Sounds like an old coward play. I'll keep my word. I'll give it back in five days' time when these curses are behind me, and I claim the princess. But please, keep the smock as our gift. tough trader, Branton. We both know what we want, and we're both going to get it so long as you dispose of these knights, especially Sir George. You can negotiate anything by Basil Rathbone. George. Yes. Twice he squirmed out of your trap, and he could do it again. No, stop worrying, Branton. You're worse than an old woman. Yeah, he should know. George and his knights are not dead by week's end. They'll die long before hey, that. Look, you can see the string that works and as well. And in circumstances oh. worse than anything I've conjured up yet. One of them's coming here now. To his death. Stop following me. Hmm. Well. Hello, Uhura. A gallant Frenchman. You don't see many of those. He's in my horse. All right. And he is a Frenchman. Don't lose your head. Let him come in here. We'll be ready for him. So, why does the most evil man in the world live in a stuckies? He likes the pecan pralines? It's the broasted chicken. Not logs. Frere Jacques, Frere Jacques, Frere Jacques, Frere Naturellement, monsieur. Comment vous appelez-vous? Mignonette, monsieur. What would you do, folks? Mignonette. Ugh, sleeping in armor is hard on a body. Mm. Mm. Uh, just let it ring. Oh, armor with memory. Ooh, you ah. taste like Charles Boyer. So, is this French kissing? <laughs> yes. Well, Mignonette, je te cherche depuis si longtemps. Enfin, je te trouve. Yes, and those Americans, they can't appreciate a good meal. Oh, Tish, you spoke French. Donne-moi tes lèvres. Come, come, we've been dating no. for almost two minutes. Chérie, je te jure, je t'aime. He's Pepe Le Pew. Fat <laughs> people. Boy, he really had the beard goggles mm -hmm. on, didn't he? Wow. Hey, all right, everybody, French is getting some. Ooh. Oh, man, I know he's French, but her? Spark! Ah, Barbara Streisand nails. Oops. You 
What is your secret, man? That was close. Yeah, come on, she was just a rebound. Save my life, mon ami. We Frenchmen, we have a weakness for a pretty woman. Is that relevant? Don't like bewitched you. Yes. I should have known that such a pretty creature will not be at this early hour. But I was robbed of all thought, except one. Hey, <laughs> go That knows how a Parisian feels. Why did you come here? Well, I am French, you know. Don't remember. What? Mon Dieu. What is it? Branton. What about him? He's in that mill. I'm sure of it. I saw his horse. Sacre bleu. He's still Did they mention that I am French? Do we need a key? No, just walk right in. Hmm. Hello, I'm French. Let's look at the menu before we order. Sir Branton. Senor Branton. Hello. Well, good morning, gentlemen. Two for smoking, then? In French, you know. Very French. Is it good? Sure, but is it safe? May we ask what you're doing here? Well, someone has to do the thinking for you. Ooh, As your what? commander, I thought it wise to spy out the countryside. The upper floor of this mill was the only vantage point. The last time you spied out the land, Sir Anthony died. Can you tell him French? You can always turn back, Sir Dennis. You have heard my answer to that. As you will. Shall we wake the others and ride on? Huh? Can't argue with this guy, he's real smart. Yep. Gentlemen, ladies. Age before beauty, pearls before swine. I know, don't get me started. Okay, pan, pan right. Pan, pan right. Keep panning. Pan, pan, pan. Pan, pan, pan pizza. Panning. Personal pan. I'm gone. Ah! I almost killed him. I tried. I could have killed them both, but that shield. Ooh. You look like Worf. That shield. Yes, that shield. Mark Shields, magic. Brooke Shields, Shields and Yonel. Of course, the boy has magic. Sir George? How else could he have escaped three curses? Magic. Courage. But I didn't even see it. That foster mother Sybil is working against me. The magic is strong, Lodak. I know it. How will you come to it? Don't you need your ring? Not for Sybil's magic. I can't look Once at you. I get my ring. I can do most anything. The princess will be fed to my dragon. All I have to do now is to redouble my no magic. Spring. But all Double you had to do was destroy that Frenchman. You were too slow. You need to no. be taught a lesson. No. Tall no. hag. No. 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 For five, six, ten hours. Fall until I need you again. Ooh. Help me! Help me! She's finally the size two she always wanted to be. Greetings, Sybil. Uh. Loader. You're looking older. Thank you, Charlie. You haven't met in what? A uh, hundred years? I don't want to talk to you. But I want to talk to you. About Amway. You cause me quite a lot of trouble. Lodak, if you touch a hair of my boy's head, I'll fight you. Weird sexual tension. Not a chance. Yeah. You've never had any real talent for witchcraft. You're a hack. You're always tenth rate. Tenth rate? You are quite helpless, Sybil. In four days, the Princess Elaine will be fed to my dragon. And your George will die even sooner than that. There's nothing you can do except look in your stupid mirror or magic pool. And now I'll take care of that. No, they come back, come back. Oh, now she'll have to hang around all day Tuesday waiting for the cable guy. Mm -hmm. Mirror of magic, bring me a vision of Lodak? No. Hmm. Well, um... I guess I'll just have to read a good book then. Let's see, Jurassic Park, uh, The Firm. Red Room, Red Room. Tenth <laughs> rate, am I? Help me, am I? It's Estelle Winwood's one woman show. Give him hell, Estelle. <laughs> I'd go see that. No, <laughs> well, I can't do anything to help George. I'm going to get loaded. Hey, knock oh, it off. Oh, Lodak, Lodak, you'll be sorry for this. Oh, there's an early Krups machine right there. Yeah, me. It's a long time since I've tried this one. Been a long time since I rocked and rolled. Two. One, I'm sure. Where is the unicorn powder? Mm. Uh, uh, she should not be left alone. Type of rights to Dear Abby, you know. Hey, 
keep it down in there. People work in the morning. I wonder what Sybil's cooking up. A lot of trouble. <laughs> she done it again. Lucy, have you been scheming again? Done, Sybil. Ah. I've finished, Bro George. That's what I've done. I've taken his magic away from him completely. George, there's no more magic. We'll be back with two separate views of love, American style. <laughs> Butch and Sundance, the really early years. Dave! Dave! Dennis! Where are you now? <laughs> there are the tracks of their horses. Where are the tracks of my tears? I can't believe they're ahead of us. I can't they believe it's not eat. butter. Getting hotter by the moment. Why don't you take off six or seven <laughs> layers? Go on without us. What could I do? They were up before daylight and belligerent at that. Sir Dennis said that he couldn't trust me to spy out the land any longer. You could have wakened us. Woken. They swore they'd be back before daylight. Dennis! James! Stella! Look up ahead, they'll be burnt to a crisp by this time. By this time, my lungs were burnt to a crisp. Ooh. Drizzle, drazzle, drazzle, drone. Time for these two to come home. Help, Mr. Wizard. Help. Hey, it's Peter Garrett from Midnight Oil. And mm -hmm. it's double. Go, go. Oh, oh it looks like their jelly donuts blew up. Yeah. To the five and dime, Jimmy Dean, Jimmy Dean. The hills have eyes. Kind of. Hmm. Huh? Dennis! Dave! In the line! George, will you be looking at that man? I'm He's Irish, you know. It's hot and we're burning. Why? I am Irish. Yes, why, Brandon? That gentleman is my secret. Strong enough for a man, but made for a woman. Huh? Wait, wait, what's hey. your secret? Come on, tell me, wait! I can't hear you. I'm not listening. Well, come on, you gotta hey. tell us. What's your secret? Come on, hey! I can't hey. hear you. We're not going in the herd, buddy. <laughs> Oh, I'm not going there. It's not part of the union contract. <laughs> Park it here. Lock it up. There we go. Thank you. Surprise! Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to, to you. you. Oh. Fred! Echo. Echo. Guys, this isn't funny. Funny, funny. Where the devil is he? Devil? He's Irish. He's in here somewhere. You mean I was in here, George? No. Pratt. Hmm? I'm sorry I have to leave you now. A long standing appointment with the Princess Helene. And also with my partner, Lodak. Partner? Really? Yes, his castle is just over the hill. Any uh, last words for either of them? Help! Don't escape it, Pratt. Help! I already have escaped you, George. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the magic of David Copperfield. It's a brick. House. Oh, oh, wow. Okay, where's Ellen Font? We thought it would be funny. We break out. With Ascalon's help. Ascalon? You Ascalon, I'm bitter. Ascalon. Open floors, walls, gates, anything. <laughs> well, they see the batteries are kind of low. It's, Lithium it was magic, uh, like your horse. Perhaps Slodak's magic is a bit stronger. <coughs> Please wear safety goggles if you're going oh, to do that no, kind you, of... She'll only be dull in the blade. The movie's duller than that blade. There must be some other way out, Patrick. Well, I can only conclude one thing. We're gonna die! Oh! You know, I was just thinking, a little wallpaper, some carpeting, this place could be fixed up real nice. Hmm. A W, sir, moron. Come on, dummy. 
You know, how come all movies end in a cave? Well, To Kill a Mockingbird didn't. Well, you're right about that. At Long Last Love didn't. Oh, that's true. Have, have Not, Anna mm -hmm. Christie. Mm -hmm. You're right. Just about all of them, none of them ended in a cave. But, but this place is filled with breadsticks. Mm. Hey, are we in someone's epiglottis? Oh, uh, just a cheap bird eye garden special effect. Yep, yep. Nope, nothing happening with the plot over here. Mm. Nothing over here either. All clear. It's. Hmm? It's Ho Chi Minh. Patrick! It's the new monkeys! Guilty, 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 guilty. You know what? I just realized we're in the ghost of Mr. Chicken. Let's get out of here. Well, they're not dead. They're just metaphysically challenged. Oh. The faces of those he's wronged are floating up at him. Jimmy Smith's. Paul's vapor action, yeah. So? I am the god of hellfire and I bring you. Ah, uh, he's battling hmm. his own demons here. Oh boy, he's becoming the green ghost game. Neat. There's something you don't see every day. Pretty much. Guy writhing in hell, soul torn out from underneath him. So, uh, I'll just leave then, I guess. Oh, great, now we're stuck in here. Oh, well, that was an interesting scene, but one question. What the heck just mm. happened here? Trippy. Indeed. I'll be here if you need me, George. He's dead, Jim. See, you get to pick out your own steak. Watch this, I'll have that one. Hmm. Neat stuff, but is it art? He's mm. escaped again. Sir Patrick too. And Toto too. No. Patrick is finished. But Sir George is riding this way. Eight. There was no way out of that cave, Lodak. Was it magic? Or was it Memorex? You decide. Not magic. Then how did George escape? Bro. I think. Yes. <sighs> Something stronger than magic. Double secret the magic. The power of Patrick's faith. Fellas, I've got something to say, and there's only one way to do it, so give me center stage. Hey, be my guest, it's all yours. As you guys, I'm sure, remember, I think it was maybe last December, I fell pell-mell for Kim Cattrall. <laughs> yeah, we remember. Please don't remind us. <laughs> but now I'm over that. Well, that's good. We had a little spat. <laughs> In your dreams, buddy. I'm older, wiser, and I know that my true love is really named Estelle. Winwood? She's swell. <laughs> she's cute. She's Rudy Toot Toot. I bet she smells like juicy fruit. Ugh. She can really play a witch. Ridiculous. She was even on Bewitch. And I'm bewildered and bothered. Oh, but Crow, hold on a second. Hold on. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Crow, you are my buddy. And maybe I'm a fuddy duddy. But step back, please, and think about some stuff. Like what? I'm sure that she seems nice, oh, yes. but I bet she's more than twice your age. Well. And with your love, it might not matter. But can she control her bladder? Shut up, shut up. Um, <laughs> come Gee. on. Okay, okay, but Joel, there's a whole other set of issues here. Um, if I may, Crow, as a friend, as a trusted advisor. Well. 
Okay, here's a quick list of people much better looking than Estelle. You're so shallow. Fred the Litnikoff, Brandon Tatterkoff, Sid and Marty Crawl. Very funny. Fred Gwynn and Anthony Quinn and Rin Tin Tin and Pearl, Bailey and Moms, Bailey and Mayor, Dilly and Hank and Phoebe I'm Snow. Not listing. Ethel Merman and Pee Wee, Herman and Strom, Thurman and Vince Lombardi and Borg Knights, Mary and George and Jesus Jones. I don't care, I don't care. Edith Head and Mr. Red and Nostradamus and Danny <sighs> Thomas and Yola and Sherman and Tom, you're not helping things at all. Now, can you go and please clip those coupons like you promised? Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, Willie DeVille and Agnes DeMille and Cruella DeVille and Roscoe Tenner. Crow, listen, don't worry about it, friend. Why don't you explain more about how you're feeling? Thank you. She's a vision. I got a new mission. Somehow I got to meet her. So she's older, too. Three, four. She's got a great motor. Two, three. There's nothing that can beat her. Crow. Two. Yeah. She's Rudy I'm Toot Toot. Sing. I bet I she smells like juicy like fruit. She can You're really play a cow. witch. Go she was even on a witch. Cause I'm bewildered, bewildered and bothered. We'll be back with more stuff here on MST3K. <sighs> Welcome to White Castle. Can I take your order? Yeah, I'll have some onion chips and fr... Hey, who is I'm just that? kidding. Move forward, <laughs> friend. <laughs> I love that. He's coming. Would you stop looking into the uh, fire for crying out loud? Yeah. He's arriving at the castle gate. Hello? Now we'll be open in a minute, sir. Castle has an open air, which gently and sweetly recommends itself on the census. Mm, can't believe I paid eight bucks and they don't even have a tour guide. Look, he's a Swiss Army soldier. Neat. So is that a toothpick, I see? Oh, never mind. Newt Rockney, All-American. Hootie hoo, hootie hoo, hootie hoo. The wizard's not in. Trick or treat for UNICEF. Uh, hi, Mrs. Jones. I'm here to pick up your daughter and uh, see if I can take her to the... Hey. Walk right in, sit right down, daddy let your mind roll on. One, two, three, four, three, four, five, six. And then Johnny said, if you move your cat, lady. <laughs> but you know, I kid all crows. <laughs> hey, crows, more, hey, brothers, come back. Mimes. I hate these guys. Huzzah. Where is he going? Scarborough Fair. No, Lord, I won't allow that. Don't worry. It'll all work out both satisfactorily, I promise. He doesn't know the way to her cell anyway. He doesn't have to. The spell of the sixth curse is already leading him on. Here, pull my finger. You know, I bet people are always saying to that guy, watch your head, watch your head. <laughs> Poor guy. Lawrence, would you put that shield down, please? Oh, he's gotta have a bathroom around here somewhere. I really gotta go. Wow, a virgin. No, Hi. like a virgin. Virgin 2.0. Hello. Hmm? George. I've been waiting all my life for a guy named I George. I've been dreaming. It's your heart, George. Uh, <laughs> or is this more of Lodak's magic? I'm as real as you are. Unfortunately. <laughs> well, you'll do. How did you know me? Oh, I think I would have known you anywhere. Lodak has shown me visions of you just to torture me. Coming nearer and nearer. 
that girl pretty thing. <laughs> but I'm here, and we'll leave together. Oh, I'm too happy to even think. No stretch for her. Just let me hold you. Hey, you guys just met. Hmm. We must go while we can. What happened to Sir Brandon? Rather ask what will happen when I get him within my sword's length. Hey, that's dirty. Oh, he's somewhere here in the castle. Let him go. What does anything matter except us? Our freedom together. You know, she's got a real Barbara Eden quality. Yeah. I'll see if the way is clear. Later, later. <laughs> You know, this is a lot like uh, Romeo and Juliet. Is that way Not good. Mm. Oh, pretty much. Mm. Personally, I think it's uh, more like a Ritz Brothers movie. Yeah, except it's good. <laughs> okay, act natural. We're vacationers from Japan. Singers! Welcome, Sir George. To the Renaissance Festival! And if you think you'd never get here. Aye. Brian! You looking for this? You just found it. My lady, it's time for us to leave. Oh, Helene, no! But I want to, George. He's a senior. Aren't you forgetting something, Branton? No, oh, my purse. Oh, the ring. Oh, yeah. There you go, Take with this word. ring I thee wed. Can I go now? Thanks. All right. Take her. Here? In front of the her. circus people? Oh, I want her all right. She wants me. Always and forever. Huh? What is this? Chopped liver? Yes, exactly. Hello. Did you really think I keep my word once I had the ring? But I don't understand. Ooh. Where is Helene? Over here. Oh. She belongs to me. We made a bargain. I don't bargain with mortals. I destroy them. Yes. Monster! All right, Branson. It's time to take care of you. Oh, he's been framed. Oh. <laughs> Prepare her for the dragon. No! No! Meanwhile, on the set of Golden Girls... Oh, nothing to give up, boy. It's the end of him, the end of them both. What will you do, Sybil? I must think. Think. Try to remember the right recipe. <laughs> magic, Sybil? Of course, I have to. Where did I go wrong? Well, dyeing your hair orange was a start. Which is of Hecate, blacker than black. Demons of shade. I want my baby Fresh back. The, rack. It's the next line. That's the one I got wrong. And it rhymes with rack. Swack? Smack? Snack? No, no, none of those. No, I'll go to Lodak's castle. That's what I'll do. I'll give it some thought on the way. Save him, Sybil. It's a living. I'll try. Well, here goes. Sam, are you conjuring again? Come back, you don't cough. Win geeks. Ay, caramba. Well, it's equipped with hot and cold running Gary Lockwood. George, this is the real Helene, I swear it. And I'm the real Inspector right, Hound. Go ahead. Show me how a pair of young mortals in love but a little late, wouldn't you say? But I'm gonna have to hose you two off like a couple of dogs. Knock it off. Always remember that. I love you, Helene. I honestly love you. Come, Helene. Come. Come on. Yeah. She rubbed his bronzer off. From the window, Sir George. Um, and call room service if you need anything. Bye bye. A feast! The feast! No doubt we want a feast. Hmm? Hurry, you. Well, she's doing stand up. <laughs> you, you'll pick the wine. The rest of you know what you have to do. Ah. Ah. Can't get used to that. <laughs> Little dudes in a golden cage. Bye. 
Um, my puzzler hurts, eh? Darby O'Gill and the little people will be back after this. <laughs> I just realized I'm Gary Lockwood. Benjamin, I told you not to go out with her. Hey, her column's a lot more ornate than mine. Yeah, I wonder if I get a continental breakfast. Hey, hey Mr. Lockwood. Come in here. Mr. Hey. Lockwood. We're here to help you. Let's go surfing now. Everybody's learning, learning how to go scissors surfing with me. I love those little guys. I thought they cut this scene. <laughs> like they can't find them. <laughs> oh, look, it's Snap, Crackle, Pop, Tony, and... Hi, Gary, we're part of this complete breakfast. They must have gotten laid off from Keebler. Mm -hmm. Hurry. Please, quick, hurry. Shave my armpits. Keep your shirt hurry. on, big guy. Nothing's good enough for you. It's like the Batman scene, doesn't it? Quick, cut the ropes, my wrist! You want... Don't, 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 don't whistle, though, it's too loud. Come on, knock off the elf crap and let me loose! Here you go. Oh, oh, oh my oh, hands! Oh, oh, sting, oh, 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 sting, oh, oh, pain, oh, 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 My sword has lost its magic, but it's still a sword. Yeah, right, whatever. Hey, could you help us out? We're a little short. Oh, <laughs> little elf. Hi, when does the show start? You are the show. Oh, neat. Oh, is she doing her Faye Ray or Jessica Lang? And Make your pick. Yes. Enter the dragon. <laughs> Go on. Let it out. You're hurting inside, aren't you? We could talk about this. Please? Bad Zippy! Down! Zippy, no! Down! Are we having fun yet? Ooh. Hey, self-surf. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. mm. good, good, good. Hey, 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 Schmill, we got a job to do here. I just had a little Italian. I got heartburn. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. <laughs> the burning, the itching, try Cruex. Ooh. Um, you won't like me. I'm Mark Virgin. I'm gamey, stringy, and tough. I don't care. Now, I didn't oh. know Estelle Winwood qualified as a superhero. Oh, yeah. yeah. Really are good seats, but I don't usually like the balcony. Hey, let's do that thing where you put the marshmallow on your spear. It's fun. Roast him, tenderize him, down you go. <coughs> ah, don't do that. Now, see the end of George? Three. Yes. Yes. Three. Oh, it's Karnak and Ed. Saucer can cross me now. Your boy. If only I could give him back his magic. Witches of Hecate, Black and Black, Demons of Shame, uh, no, Flesh no. on the Rack. No, no, no. Eeny, meeny, chilly beanie. No, no, no. Herny, hiney, no, no, damn. Lighten up, they're just puppets. Hey. Sorry. Fire breathing's good, though. This huh? is better than the tanning bed. Oh, ouch. Not very nice. Oh, George, I gotta get going. I'll see you. I'm okay. Ooh. Ouch. He's even lost the power to 
attack. That's the word. Yes. Which is a peccate. Blacker than black. I want my baby back. Yeah. Same flesh on the wreck. Done this, Grandma. To my boy, the power to attack. Uh, thanks, Mom, but I was already doing it. Ooh, Daryl Dragon. Hey, you're gonna poke an eye out with that thing. Sounds like Godzilla all of a sudden. Next week on American Gladiators. You know, if this were a Japanese film, the whole movie would revolve around this uh, dragon here. Sure. The secret compartment of the ring I fill with a proton super energy pill. She's right, it's her ring now. Ah. Oh no, he snores. Ooh. I'm so sleepy I can barely keep awake. Clunk. Oh, my braces. Owie. Well, he's roadkill now. Yep. Oh, the other head died, too. Hmm. What about that? Yeah, it looks like the George monster's gonna score tonight, that's for sure. Yeah, it's uh -huh. a magic sword, oh. but it's also good for simple jobs. Mm -hmm. They will still die! Well, eventually, I suppose, but... Here, uh, give me your gown. I gotta wipe this blood up. How do I curse you with all the damnation of hell? Oh, we're curse. scared. Defiant mortal. You dared to challenge me. Six curses could not destroy you. But now you must face the seventh. Me! The invincible! Figures. Oh, go to bed, old man. Now will I grind you to dust. Now all you wild creatures of hell, listen to me. As I cast the seventh curse. Uh -huh. Oh, big deal. You got an echo box. So you went to Radio Shack. I'm quaking. The year the cat in the morning of the Bogart movie in the... Huh? Dino! Ah! No, boy! <laughs> Dino, no, stop! Oh, goodness gracious, I'm dead! <laughs> Maynard Ferguson live at the Ashwaubenon High School Auditorium. Mowage! Twelve! And now I'll kiss you. Uh, no, that's okay, Dad. Please. In a private ceremony, they were married by Grady from Sanford and Son. Hey, everyone. It's Scooter and Skunk and Ooh, Chopper. He's nutty. The dinger. But can't we do anything without your friends? Hi, Kiba. Ha, <laughs> ha. Ah, I owe money. <laughs> well... Oh, Estelle. Hey, my little mom just flipped me off. How about that? Grady, quit watching them and get your butt over here. Dun 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 dun. Ba ba da 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 Uh, you know, Joel, yes, Tom. I just gotta say that Bird Eye Gordon did quite a pretty good job on that film, but one thing I'm confused about is the whole concept of the seven curses. I didn't know you could say curses on TV. Well, it's not that kind of curse. Uh, to give you an example, it's more like the curse uh, for people when they performed on Rick D's Into the Night Show. It's that kind of curse. <laughs> oh, got it. Yeah. Uh, you know, speaking of seven curses, despite what George Carlin says, there are seven naughty words you can't say on TV. Oh, sure, I know one, uh, like Hinder. Uh, booger. Uh, Nimbus. Booby. A Dink. Mm -hmm. Kaka. Booby. Yeah. Uh, I think that's seven right uh, oh, there. Oh, wait a minute, there's more than that. Uh, there's sure. underpants, uh, ding-a-ling. Uh -huh. uh, stinky butt, oh, dickweed. Right. Okay, 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 yep. okay, that's okay. plenty, okay. That's... Uh, Joel, uh, how about, uh... Oh, I don't think you should really. Just thought I'd check. Yeah, thanks for asking. Anyway, I think it's time Corpus? to do a letter. 
This is from Nimrod? Bill and Tony Curfew. Lawrence. Okay. okay. And they said uh, 18 months ago, oh, well, let's put that up on still store Canva. 18 months ago, we moved from Ohio, leaving our two children in college there. Having conversations with our daughter, Sue, was never a problem. She's always had lots to talk about. Isn't that like a teenage girl? Anyway, however, our son, Bill. Bill has a problem. Bill is a sophomore at Ohio State and really never believed that your letters were true. I'm kidding, of course. And having conversations with him that produced more than one or two word responses proved more difficult. That has all changed since we discovered MST3K on a cable channel here in Virginia that is not available in Columbus. Knowing his bizarre sense of humor is probably genetic in origin, and knowing how addicted he has become to our MST3K bi-weekly fixes, we began taping your shows regularly and sending them to Bill. The amazing results are long, detailed chats about the latest tapes and comparing the parts we found most hilarious. So kudos to guys and Gypsy for finding a way for parents and kids to connect. When people ask us how we manage to stay in such close touch with Bill and his generation because they too want to enjoy that kind of meaningful relationship with their kids, we simply tell them, keep circulating the tapes. Thanks. What do you think, sir? Oh, is the great Joe Robinson bridging the generation gap again? Ah, push the button, Frank. Doctor, I don't feel too good. I think that biohazard whatever stuff is having an effect on me. Really? <laughs> You look great. I do? Uh, yeah, yeah, let's, uh, let's go get a pizza. I'll uh, bring the mad scientist mobile around. Oh, I don't think I could hold a pizza down. Uh, well, maybe we'll get you some soup. Uh. <laughs>